Hello everybody, are you well? <clears throat> Hello, welcome back to the Blackbird Podcast. Hope you're all good. I finally got in here, fucking busy. Actually busy driving far to do stuff fucking uh, I'm not gonna go on about it because I don't like being negative but fuck's sake who needs shitty Christmas songs on the fucking radio at 7.30am in the van nobody needs that come on cop the fuck on boys the fuck thought I crashed the van with a rage this morning fucking ugh hate him And that's that. The end. I'm wearing a Superman t-shirt to combat the Christmas crap. That's why a man of my age is wearing this. <laughs> Apparently it's meant to uh, dissemble in the colouring. I don't know, I heard it once. Someone told me and I thought to her fucking taking the piss. But it turns out it's a real thing. Psychologists will, will state that looking at this symbol <laughs> is very uh what, it gives you a lot of optimism it's like an optimistic vibe if you're into believe in this so here i am my optimism against christmas and all that cracker that goes with it doesn't uh doesn't do any harm to try So how y'all doing crackers? I started a painting. I'm very happy with it. It was going one way and then it went total off different direction. But it's um I haven't got to it all week. But it's uh got potential. I had some really fucking weird thing going on at the start. But then I came in the next day. And where I have it up, I have an easel, one of my old easels, the legs were a bit dodgy, so I, I dismantled them and I screwed it to the wall. <laughs> you can still move it up and down, so it's handy and, you know, you have more floor space. But I have these little sketches kind of peppering the wall. And uh, when I was looking at what I had started, I was thinking, what the fuck is this? Where was I going with this? I wasn't really, you know, I don't like to pre-plan too much of anything just kind of jump right in and see what happens and uh nothing happened <laughs> it's fuck but uh, it was just some lovely textures coming on and whatnot but nothing happened like it just did nothing and the next day zippo zero so whatever way i was looking at it I could see the sketch on the wall alongside there's a few sketches that I never did anything and I thought fuck it you know what I'm gonna go do this and see you know just to kind of get going uh and if I make a balls of that then at least it might go off in another direction so at least you're in the act of painting and just try not to think too much <laughs> which I'm very good at and see where you go so I'm very happy about that I am I am and fucking traffic lads what's with the traffic down past Cork at the moment so I'm going through the tunnel and oh, fuck on the way home no matter what time you're coming home it's like from the airport roundabout we'll say the fly over there you start to fucking full stop and it's bumper to bumper then I'm not a fan not a fan at all and you're blind your eyes are burnt out of you by the time you get home my buddy was on to me saying that he was in Cork City today he went into the Crawford Gallery I can't remember the last I like going into the Crawford Gallery whenever I'm around Cork which is seldom I think I've been around Prague like I told him more than I've been around Cork over the last fucking 10 years anyway which is I must rectify that in the new year actually because I like I like Cork I like walking around Cork Cork's lovely it's really cool. I must do that. 
maybe in January. I don't know if, hopefully, I'll be too busy. <laughs> Lots of bills to pay, folks. So back to the optimistic T-shirt. I like the uh, primary color aspect of it. I'm a primary colors kind of person. You know what I mean? I usually kind of just... What would I usually have on my palette? I'd have various blues. I'd have yellow and red. Nice crimson red. And then I kind of just throw in a paint gray and a white on the side just for mixing. And then see what happens. You get some lovely uh, effects, you know? So that's that. That's what I'm fucking talking about. I was listening to some podcast today at work. And there's a guy, what's his fucking name? What is his name? Oh, man. He's got the shopping bag on his head when he's in public. He's very, very uh, academic. Very knowledgeable on many things. He's funny as fuck sometimes, but all the times he's like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? It goes dark, dark. He, he writes short stories and stuff. But I was listening to him today. <laughs> and I thought, fucking hell. This guy is not, I thought mine sitting in a room talking to myself, but even though he's a structured, his research stuff and everything, and he's still whack. So it kind of gave me, because I was meant to come in and do this, I think, earlier on in the week. But I'm not joking when I get home. I'm not used to those long drives. I was far out. And then the kids. Fuck it, man. Don't have kids. <laughs> They're just fuck. It. They're mental. So, I see. Yeah. Been looking at Kipper's little conversation. That was very interesting. There's an awful lot of fuckery around. In every fucking aspect of, of the day. In every part of the world, it would seem. I have a few fucking things I like to say, but I've, sometimes I'm thinking, why should I? Then for the laugh, I said, start up, fuck it. Okay, on a local level, there's that house in for me that's been, um, I suppose it's causing some division. But it seems the majority of folks in my seem to be like on the same page. And I can understand our concerns. And I think I'd be on their page. I was hoping to get someone to come in who's there like all the time. Because like I said, by the time I get home, it's fog. <laughs> it's just, it's Scooby-Doo when I'm leaving and it's Scooby-Doo when I get home. But anyway, we'll see what the future holds. I Keeping tabs on them on Facebook and stuff. It's the only thing that fucking Facebook is good for. I know completely forgot where I was going with that what I was talking about oh yeah so this Enoch Burke individual have you heard of him release him from fucking prison for fuck's sake that's just that's wrong I mean <laughs> that is just wrong You'd be looking at that situation it has uh, you know there's ramifications for us all on that and don't fucking be gobbling up all the... Even listen to reporters on the radio that were talking about it. This fucking condescending, blasé attitude that they... It's just... It's it's fucking rank. It's rank. So that's what I have to say about that. And as for the whole Israel and Palestine thing, I had a look at it. Cop the fuck on, Israel. What the fuck? What the fuck? They're in this. Sigis are. So we're on a countdown now for this whole Christmas thing. What is it? One week to go. Then it's all over. All that stress from nothing. All that silly bullshit. I'm just so anti Christmas today. Tired. Fucking nonsense. It probably wouldn't be so bad if there was just, you know, maybe a fortnight 
of all the fucking the bad songs and the lights and all that jazz and maybe a week after for the wind down but Jesus before Halloween come on that's very taxing on one's mental health <laughs> fucking watching people get just stupid so I'm good at editing now so I don't have to worry about fucking having a pause So I'm going to take part in a competition there in the archery. It's an indoor, 20 yards. So I was going over there. Yeah, the odd Tuesday I was getting maybe an hour or two. And the first Tuesday, for the first 45 minutes maybe, I was doing fairly good. I was very happy with myself. The second Tuesday, fuck me, it was just disaster. So then the last Tuesday I was there. And I was thinking, all right, this competition is it's like any day now. <clears throat> and it's, it's, I think it's, there's clubs all over the country that are, you know, hosting this. It's like all these clubs will hold it. All the results will go up. I think it might be international. I don't know. I wasn't really listening. But um, all I heard was competition. You think, well, I'm going to ace that. And then I go over and I can't even hit the fucking page. Like, what happened? <laughs> I'll tell you what happened. You go over after a long day, you're wrecked, and you squint and you can't see your arrows. Once my arrow is gone, I, it's gone. <laughs> it's supposed to be into a black hole. I can't see a fucking thing. Which is, sometimes you, you see the page move, and you think, oh, nice one. I'm in the white zone there. It's black target with a white bullseye, if you will, with the X. And it's like, I think it moved. <laughs> but it's not. It's, you're trying to see the shadow or not. So I think they're all like mid-page around the X. And I go down there then and some of them are on the bottom of the page and some of them are on the backstop. They're not even on the page. Now, not just saying it, but that's, that's not normal for me. Like, So <laughs> I have to go to this fucking competition now with zero real fucking application. And uh, just assume that I'll do well. But it's it's not it's not like that. It's I've practiced loads. You're just hoping that your form will kick in on the day. So don't 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 stay tuned. I miss the woods now. To be honest, kind of sucks. Looking forward to the new year. Try to get a few, well as many as I can. Get some far away ones this year. This new year. So, okie dokie, so, fuck it, we've Man United now facing Liverpool this weekend, so it's time to go into hiding for a year, another trashing will be delivered I'm sure by Liverpool, it's fucking crazy how bad Manchester United are. I honestly think they should just get rid of at least 10 players in that fucking club. 10. That Rashford, definitely, he's the first they put out the door. Now I'm sure I'll get a lot of stick, especially if I say anything like, oh, Manchester United to my father, who's a big-time Man United fan. Jesus. I remember I saw George Best. Oh. So if I say anything, you get, you know, when you go to, you get to a certain age, and then you go home and you meet your dad. And they look at you like you're fucking five, <laughs> no matter what you're talking about. And they just want to fucking rip your head off. But I'm going to say it now. It's all well and good saying players are good. I'm not saying that they're not good. I'm saying that they don't have the, the proper character to wear the fucking Man United shirt. You know? To just give up so fucking easily. And these it's the same batch of 
players all the fucking time. So I would be inclined to say, you take the week off there, Eric. We got the uh, P45s there. We'll sort this out for you. And then uh, here's a bunch of money. You go get the guys you want. See, he wants these guys. I know all those people are like, who gives a fuck? <laughs> I know, but that's where I am right now, right? <laughs> fucking Christmas is melting my brain. But it's like, I'll be listening to these various channels on, uh, on YouTube. With Rio Ferdinand talking, Paul Scholes talking and all of them. And they're all kind of, I suppose they're, they're saying that, well, I was talking to X, Y, and Z, and they, this is what I'm hearing. This kind of shit. Gossip, basically. And it seems like Eric Ten Hag, the manager, would say, right, I want X, Y, and Z player to come in, and I don't want to play these guys. And he's told, no, Eric, that's not the way it's going to be. These are the guys we think you should get. No. What's the point of bringing in a fucking manager? If you're not going to let him manage. You know what I mean? He should be full control. Otherwise, what the fuck is he doing there? You know what I mean? Getting all these fucking tossers. Who clearly, a lot of them have no respect. They're just biding their time like to do with all the other managers that they got fired. I think the biggest fuck up there was getting rid of Jose Mourinho. I'd have let him wield the axe. But there you go. probably why I don't watch soccer anymore you can get very emotionally involved in them but these fucking players when you see the fucking I mean how many people in the world it's the biggest sport in the world and every everyone well lots of people would you know they'd love to have that kind of life but Jesus Christ these fucking guys I'd let Roy Keane in there though for a day. <laughs> Give him a hurley. So go get him, Roy. It's be a very different fucking team then. <sighs> I was watching the interview with Michael Owen actually. It was a good day. He's a fucking cool guy actually, Michael Owen. And he maintains that in the Premier League today, you don't even have to be good to make a good living. Just, you know... Be fit and athletic and you'll be fine. You'll get away with an awful lot. And he's not fucking wrong. He's not wrong at all. So, let's get away from that now because I'm getting a bit twitchy. Getting a little bit twitchy. Let's have a shave. I was just actually cutting make myself a coffee before I came out here <laughs> and the two boys are like two cats inside they just get a bit antsy and whatever <laughs> Junior was in the kitchen just standing in the middle of the kitchen I was just talking to him and Sebastian just walked by innocently out next thing <laughs> he got straight into the head for no reason that's what I'm dealing with now and then all, sh all hell broke loose <laughs> But it was funny. <laughs> I just had to give him the eye, like, don't do that. That's not good. <laughs> Fucking mad. So the greenhouse is dead. I'm going to try to... F I haven't even looked at it yet. I just moved it to one side. You know, when we had some crazy weather there. Was it last Sunday evening? And I mean, there was two big heavy timber beams and they were soaked as well on either side of this thing. So it was, it was secure, maybe that was the problem, but there was some racket. Now I was thinking Saturday that it was gonna get damaged because it gets really wild up here. And Sunday evening, it just got flipped, twisted, and just fucked right up. It's now it's at the back the back of the house looks like <laughs> oh, fuck. Something out of a tragic movie. But it got totally messed up. All the bars are all bent and whatnot. So that's a little project now to go at after next week. A few days off. I'll try to do something with that. Hopefully I can fix it. 
it got really twisted. Proper country vegetable. So that's uh, that's it. That's all I got. I got nothing. I got nothing today. I'm tired. I actually feel like having a nice frosty beer. I think that's what I'm going to do. Have a nice frosty beer. Got to talk to someone. Let's make a phone call. So I'm going to go. Enjoy your Christmas. Fucking Christmas. But enjoy your Christmas. Enjoy the food. Enjoy the prezzies. And the shit songs on the radio. Might be able to get out for a pint in a pub. That'd be nice. That's going to happen. So enjoy, folks. (sighs) Okay? (laughs) Enjoy.